So we're going to want to start off by uh, going into Google and searching for UTA CSE degree plan, the quickest way to you know get where we're going to go. And then we're going to click on the first link. Um, also, I'm going to try to link it in the description below. If you can't find it for whatever reason, just click on the link below. And for this video, we're going to want to go into the 2020 computer science flowchart. You can also click the computer science curriculum. Now, quick note, I'm going to be going over what's been my first year as a computer science major student at UTA. So first thing I want to start off with is the pre-professional courses. Something you want to make sure you understand as an incoming, you know, uh, student for computer science is that you need to have your pre-professional courses completed in order to take 4,000 level classes. Uh, when I switched over to computer science, I kept this in mind and I try to plan out my schedule. So whenever I get to the, you know, to my senior year and I have to take my 4,000 level classes or my second year, junior year, that I can take 4,000 level classes. So just keep in mind as I'm talking about this because it shows you right here clear and it's clear and stated, you know, you have to take uh, Univ 1131, 1310. 1205 all of these in this black box so I'm gonna give you a little idea of what I thought about the courses and um, um, like I said I just had to take uh, algorithms and data structures and object oriented programming and I should be done I'm taking uh, computer organization right now in the summer so I can give you a little you know insight about how this course is going um, so yeah but if you're coming in you know 2020 as a freshman or you're thinking about switching to computer science or anything I'll just give you a little idea of what it's like at UTA and I'm pretty sure you can you know um, translate what I say about these courses to your university or um, you know if you're making a decision on whether or not you want to do this so I'll just start off with you know your intro CSE classes you're gonna start off with CSE 1310 intro to programming right this class when i took it it was in java the language that we you know we were taught in was java but i believe for um, uta currently they're doing it in python so keep in mind if you're coming in uh, maybe you want to you know get a little refresher on python or maybe watch a couple intro tutorials on python and give you a good feel of how the course is going overall difficulty um, not very difficult but if you're completely new to programming, make sure to go to class. Definitely pay attention because you're you're not gonna understand when they start talking about oh like oh we have to do this and then do that. Okay, no, I don't know. You you might understand it. Um, overall, my professor was uh, amazing. Honestly, one of the best professors I ever had. And like I said, in this course, you're going to be really talking about is data types, for loops, um, conditionals, and that's about it. You'll, you'll hit files, like how to create files, how to, you know, read files, how to write files. And you're going to learn about modules and classes. It'll really open up your field in for one semester. I, th I think it's a pretty good course. Try to give you a bigger picture. And then... Uh, intro to CSE. This is basically where you go. It's usually on Friday or I think Thursday. Thursday on Fridays. It's uh, one hour long or 50 minutes long and this is intro to computer science and this is basically when they're bringing all the professors, well not all the professors, but they bring in a good amount of professors from, you know, different, um, I guess, uh, levels? No. Yeah, I, I guess fields or whatnot, but they, they'll come in and they'll talk to you about their experience or why computer science or, you know, they, they, they try to introduce you to the um, to the program. It's a fun class. You, you can pay attention, but you pretty much just got to go there for attendance. So you wouldn't have any problem with uh, 1205. And then if you move on to intermediate programming, this is going to be your second semester. If you're coming in as a freshman, I took it last semester. 
Um, note you're gonna have to have math at 21, 14, 21. Uh, but I'll talk about you know these uh, in later. I'll just get down to get down to the rest of the CSE. Uh, 1320. This one is a doozy. I will say it is taught in C. And be prepared because it's nothing like Java. I will tell you that much. Uh, I got an A. Um, yeah, I got an A in 1310. I got an A in 1220. Uh, but you're going to want to put in more effort. My professor, again, was amazing. Um, but yeah, be prepared. Uh, if I was you, I would, you know, I'd read a couple books or watch a couple videos on C to get a good feel because this one's i would it, it wasn't i'm not trying to say it's difficult because I, I didn't i didn't find it difficult but i just did find the concepts to be more interesting in a say and it gives you this class really gave me the bigger picture of why we're doing the small oh hello world programs the terminal you know programs this one starts building you up to oh we can do more with uh, programming so all in all enjoy the class and i'm looking forward to taking cse 1325 and what i've heard from object oriented programming it's uh, taught in c plus plus and the overall gist of it is reinforce uh, programming concepts and to start getting into guis uh, you know user interfaces so i'm looking forward to that uh, we're going to go over here to CSE 2312, which is computer organization. This is assembly. Uh, it's basically, like, I think, computer architecture. You know, how how the computer stores variables, how the... I'm almost done. I have, I think, a one month left. We're about to take our first exam. Um, this, this class, it's a theoretical um, I personally don't like it because it's uh, it's weird. You're gonna have to use the Raspberry Pi, and uh, it's uh, based off of C and assembly. Uh, I'm not having that much trouble with it, but it is uh, it's it's a class. You know, it's a class you have to get done. So, and then algorithms and data structures, the legendary class itself. I'm looking really looking forward to taking this class they just changed it to 3318 uh, last uh, last spring so yeah i'm looking forward to it i've heard that it's the professors aren't that what aren't that great for these classes but that's because the fail rate is uh pretty high so definitely watch out and you know don't take don't take this class if, if everyone's saying it's pretty hard don't take it and take like Cal 2 and then physics too. You know, it's just, uh, find some time to take it when your course load isn't that great. But moving on, Cal 1, it's just calculus. You know, you got to test into it. Oh, yeah, make sure you test into calculus so you don't lose a semester taking college algebra. But I, I don't think it should be that hard to um, be able to take Cal 1. And then you're going to be taking technical physics 1. You know, if you have English credit or not, you know. You're going to need an English credit. And then you're going to take Physics 2 and then Calculus 2. Uh, one note, um, these four courses, um, I, I think they're tough, but not too tough. So you know your 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 strengths. Um, but yeah, I'd take it. I'd take these courses um, with a caution because the, when the tests come around, it's nothing like what they teach in class. Um, so be prepared. Uh, that's that's my best advice. And then engineering probability. I took this course um, last uh, spring. It's basically micro statistics, like for I guess because it's an industrial court industrial engineering course so it's basically telling you about statistics with like oh like a factory makes x amount of devices and x percent come out defective you know those types of things and then comms the easiest class I've ever taken you just show up and do the work you know but you have to do it and I think that's about it for the most part 
And I'm going to take operating systems uh, this semester. Uh, oh, linear algebra, I forgot about. Oh, discrete structures. Discrete structures is all, all theoretical. It's all, honestly, I think this is the hardest uh, computer science course I've taken so far. You need, you need to go to class in order to pass this one. Honestly, hands down. Hands down. Um, linear algebra. Um, you can either take this linear algebra or you can take, uh, let's go down here and find it. Or I don't, I don't know if it's here. Uh, I'm not sure. But yeah, they have a substitute for this. You can take the math. It's like, I think it's math uh, 3330. You can take that course. Uh, linear algebra, it's, it's, it's hard, but not as hard as um, Cal 2, in my opinion. So yeah, and I am going to be taking uh, my 4,000s. Well, I'm going to start taking 4,000s um, after next, uh, well, yeah, next spring. So be looking forward to that. So yeah, um, I can't really speak on courses I haven't taken yet. So I think we're going to end this video here. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, leave a comment below. And I'll try to get back to you. Uh, also, a quick note. Um, this is like the first video I'm going to make. Uh, so I thought it was a pretty good one. You know, start off with, oh, like, I'm at this point. I'm at this point in my computer science journey. Yeah, like, I'm just going to document it. And also, uh, I'm going to be posting, you know, stuff that I learn uh, because I think I'm at a good point because uh, these courses, you're not really going to learn anything. Like, oh, I'm not going to be able to build robots, you know, robotics. I don't even know what they do in robotics over here in 4360. Uh, the point I'm the point I'm trying to say is I think now after I take after I took intermediate programming I've done a lot of self study I'm starting to get the bigger picture of computer science and I really want to get into data science and machine learning I, I just I don't know that's basically the reason why I got into computer science so yeah I'm gonna be starting my journey here uh, yeah with almost finishing my pre-professional courses and jumping into this journey so um, if you're interested I'm gonna be trying to make a lot of learning videos of how I'm learning and you know just my progress and hopefully you know come out a machine learning engineer so we'll see all right thanks for watching um,